Hello, and welcome to Super Paper Roblox, where in Chapter 7, I forgot just a few little cards, and I'm just going to go ahead and get them. So if you go up here on this thing, and then make your way like so, there we go. Awesome. So this is, what kind of card is this? It is a Harmonian card. Harmonians are a civilized group of angel-esque creatures who live in Harmony Haven. Though they are normally peaceful race, they have sparked conflict with the Cravons before in what would become in what would come to be known as the first musical war. Now that their enemy has returned, they are hastily preparing for another far more destructive war. Welp. And here we are in the middle of that war, which has already been done. Yes, because if you haven't seen the last chapter... Woo! I did not make that the first time. And honestly, you can just go up here, I think. Or like, there we go. Oh no, you can't? Whatever. Um, I'm probably just gonna make my way back. Um, I don't know. Wait. Can I come out from this area? Can I be like... Can I like skip the entire thing? Because there's some huge dialogue going on over there. So I just want to like jump off a cliff rather than read long dialogue. So I'm going to do that, and it'll be great. Just look at this view. Do you see this amazing view? Ah, oh, it's so good. Can I just like... Ah, oh, I came here for nothing. That's another Mills Buddies popsicle, though. Huh. I should just have a montage of all the popsicles I found of Mills Buddy. Because there are a bunch. I'm not kidding. They're, they're just pretty hidden. All right, so I'll just skip ahead into that area. Here we are. So if you make your way out right right here there's this little river area and then there's this darker spot apparently in the waterfall and this is my first time seeing this and oh my god this looks pretty Ooh. oh my what is this area i think you die if you go in that water so i'm gonna go down here oh my god what the heck what is this I'm going down slowly for dramatic effect. What the heck? What is this area? Oh my god. This is beautiful freaking full. What? Can I like... Oh, dude. Oh, that's amazing. Look at the waterfalls on the... Oh my god. How... Why is this so hidden? Why... Why do you have to hide this from the world? Why does this have to be hidden from ev- What the- No. Way. This is the secret hideout of Mills Buddy. Oh my god, this was in the last Paper Roblox too. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, I'm just exploring around the house, just respecting everything about it. Bruh. So this is where all the popsicles originate from. This is like the popsicle factory. I don't know. I haven't even looked inside yet, and I'm assuming it's a factory. But I'm I'm assuming also that it's Mills Buddy. I think. Oh yeah, there he is. Um. Oh, there's a piano here. Can I play it real quick? Can we get Octave up in here? And just play for us. Serenade us with his amazing skills. There's fake orchestra. Oh dude. Oh dude. Oh man. Ah, oh, and there's still more to explore in this chapter too. I missed so much in this chapter. Whose room is this? Oh my god. I saw this. This was crazy. This is the plot book and they're just like writing everything. So right now they're writing about me. What the hell? There's... M Wait, I just want to explore the house first before I go any deeper. What the... Ah. Just the secrets alone have to be its own episode. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm going to record. I'm planning to record for about an hour. Until, you know, time's up. What's in here? Oh, just a bunch of boxes. Somebody has yet to move in. <laughs> it's one of those freaking otaku thingies. Like, otaku merchandise for paper Roblox. That's great. Uh, I wonder where they come from and where I can get some. Alright, since I've already explored the rest of the house, I'll just dive on in? Um, What? It just keeps going. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Uh, hi. Is this... Uh, hello? I heard a voice. This is... 
Ma what's his name? Tesseract. Tesseract. Can I... Do I, like... Is there a secret if I do this? Can I, like, figure something out? I'm, I'm afraid of what's going to happen. Nope. Nothing. Well, that's just a little secret thing right here, I guess. Of Tesseract? Is this... This is a picture of Tesseract. I'm just assuming. But... I'm getting out of here. Nope. Oh, God. It's giving me the creeps. Ugh. All right. Back to wonderful music. I love it. Ah, There we go. I just love wonderful music. Can we just not go into that area again? That creeps me out. Ugh. And let's go back for this long-ass walk. Ugh. It's so beautiful. But the only non-beautiful point of this chapter is that there's some long walks. And I still have some secrets to attend to. Okay. So there must be something on top of there? Maybe? I just want the card that I'm pretty sure I missed, which which is quite a fair distance away? Oh god, wait. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, right there, in the middle of this area, which I don't know why I didn't get, but I'll get that right now. So I just came back from Phantom Forces with, um, with a new surprise guest, which was really, really cool. The dude's awesome. Oh, it's the element. All right, let's get this. Um, where's that? Elements, elements, elements. Element of music. This element is associated with any character whose form is musically based. Musical characters usually keep themselves in the music region. Although there are exceptions. Huh. I wonder what kind of exceptions are those. Whatever. Maybe like Traytone, who appears in like chapter 8. I'm assuming he's going to appear in chapter 8. Duh. Because like... He has to. It's like the final war or whatever. The, the, the great battle. So he's going to appear there. Wait, there's got to be a secret here. Right? Oh no, there's no secret. This is just a way back up? Are you actually kidding me? Oh no, I explored that whole... Whatever. Anyways, let's move on to the next chapter. Because... I'm pretty sure that's all to it. All right, let's go. All right, adventure. And then go to chapter eight, which is apparently the longest chapter, probably gonna take me a couple of hours. And it's probably gonna be cut into like four. Oh my God, I just saw everything load. Oh Jesus. That was a lot of stuff. Just that little tiny like four frames of everything in the chapter. And it's still loading. It's not even. It doesn't even have like an extra dot on it. It's just like, nah, I ain't even gonna load. Just look at it. It's just like, the game is loading. Period. Not even like a what the balls. What the ball sacks. Um, real quick. Be right back. I'm gonna check if I'm recording. I am actually recording this chapter. All right. What the. Oh my god. Whiskera, what's happening? Hey! We finally opened the portal! Thanks for getting all those magic scissors! Now, let's catch ourselves a necromancer! Well, oh, this is a portal! Well, damn! Alright, let's go on through! Jesus! Alright, so she just, like, ripped a thing into the... I'm... What the hell? Where am I? Who are you? Scripless! Oh, hey there, protagonist. This is really weird. I can explain. Kogan? Um, what kind of voice? Scripless is currently in his true form. He appears this way whenever he travels to other dimensions outside Paper Robloxia. I am the final piece of Scriptless soul, transformed into an octahedral shaped crystal with the ability to communicate telepathically. You may call me Kogan. Hi, Kogan. I guess I'm probably just gonna add a filter to you or something. I don't know, like I did with the last character. A hey, Traytone. Yeah, Kogan usually talks this much. I am mainly here to serve as a replacement for Aaron O'Nair for the duration of Chapter 8. Man, we didn't even get to see much of Aaron O'Nair. What? Not only am I a useful vessel of information, but I can re relay what characters are saying and thinking even from far away. I guess that's pretty cool, even if it is a little weird. 
Our journey is a long and arduous one. We will be traveling through numerous dimensions to reach Antagon, each one being stranger than the last. We are currently within a cut dimension, a pocket of, spa of abstract space between two major dimensions. I highly advise you to avoid touching the spinning sparkles. Easy enough, I guess. How do we get to the next major dimension? Jump into the large portal at the end, which looks similar to the one you went through to get here. Doing so will send you to Paper Boxia, dimension adjacent to Paper Obloxia. I see. So then we just keep looking for the other cut portals until we find Antagon? Yes, that's the idea. There are many more elements involved here, but the sake, for the sake of simplicity, going through the portals is what you should be focusing on. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god. So I guess I should avoid these then. Alright, let's, let's just rush through this chapter because it's gonna get quite lengthy not gonna lie all oh, these scissors all right this is a little bit of a hit nope i just ran straight into that well oh there's the portal all right oh no i restart from the beginning okay so apparently you have to be really 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 good at parkour welp this is gonna take a while <laughs> oh god i guess taking your time really does count in this hut Oh, oh, I don't know the hitbox on these things. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm not even... Oh, checkpoint. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God it's just not all... Okay. I thought I thought if I died, I'd have to restart from the entire beginning. How am I supposed to do this one? Oh, like that, apparently. Wait, and then like that? And then like that. Oh, my God. There we go. What's up, dude? It will be in your best interest to jump into the portal below us. The rest of your friends are waiting for you there. All right, let's go! No cards yet. Apparent okay, I thought I missed the portal itself. I was like, no, shoot, I have to redo that. Um. Um. Where am I? And are there cards behind me? Well, this kind of looks like the beginning of, of chapter one. <laughs> well, Scribbler certainly has the new look going for him. And his little crystal friend, for that matter. I wonder how much it literally really knows. Welp. Do I really want to sit through and read everyone's dialogue? Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. I'm not much of a box fanatic, but this view is pretty great. Don't you agree, protagonist? I I agree very well. Except for the fact that I have to, like, transition between voices. What was his voice? Oh, God. Try not to get too distracted here. We've still got a long way to go before we can get anywhere near Antagon. Alright, maybe I should have studied the voices beforehand, because I'm going to get so many voices wrong. Is that box draw all the way over there? Did she follow us here? Dude, I don't even know, but, like, if I'm going to have to search through for cards in this, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm probably going to deal with it some other time, but, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, box draw, what's going on? Ah, oh, there you are, protagonist! Welcome to Paper Boxia, birthplace of all the box creatures. The majority of my box built brethren live here, secluded from the rest of Paper Robloxia. Though this place may strike you as unusual, it is a safe, tranquil haven for all block box kin. Oh, that's right, you're looking for the next portal. You may find it atop a large pillar of boxes. I wish you good luck with the remainder of your journey. Alright, let's just look for cards, you know, in the box world, if there are any. There's a card right there. God, I love this music though. Do 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 da bow 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 do bow do bow do bow do. That's a box owl, right? Okay, I th it it literally that thing looks like a box six year old. I don't know. Oh god, like a really fat head. There are weirder dimensions. Trust me. Aside from paper robloxia, this is as mild as it gets. Well, just gonna go over here, I guess. At least there's no obstacle. That's great. Um, Otempis. So, this is what Paper Obloxia must be like to box creatures. I wonder how they even managed to get to Paper Obloxia in the first place. Considering how pins and scissors can open portals, it wouldn't surprise me if some kind of box magic existed. Well, that's true. Huh. Or maybe it's the same thing. You know, you use scissors to cut open cardboard boxes, right? Whatever. I'm gonna go down there. I don't know how, though. Wait. Wait. What? Oh, shoot, there's an area right here. There we go. Just find the safe route down. And just be awesome. There we go. And then go through here. And then... Oh, dude, it's Kogan. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
Kogan. Um, a floating red crystal, which is the final form of the last piece of Scriptless' soul. This form only appears when Scriptless travels to other dimensions. Kogan has its own cognitive thought process, allowing it to move and speak to its own accord. It communicates telepathically and can even allow you to listen in on characters who are out of earshot. I see. Well then, Kogan's pretty freaking useful then, huh? Oh, look at that double planing action. Love it. <laughs> freaking grass. There we go. Let's go up here and then just explore, I guess. More secrets. Ah! Oh god, there's more. Oh god, there's more. Oh god, this is a long chapter. Um, hmm, I don't see any signs of civilization around here. There's only animals and trees, not to mention the uncanny landscape of boxes everywhere. By the way, constantly 24-7, I'm standing on boxes. There's Unless I stand on a tree, this entire chapter, I've been standing on at least one box. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> hey, is that the pillar Boxer was talking about? The next portal must be up there. All right, let's just, why can't you just, you're, you're the, like the goddess of like portals, right? Can't you just move it down here or something? I don't know. I'll be pretty freaking useful if you can just do that real quick. Uh, this chapter is going to be freaking tedious. All right. Ta ta ta. What's up? Oh, sorry. I was uh, just thinking to myself. All right. Maybe about pump that pumpkin dude, your brother or cousin or whatever. Wait, I have I have to. I have to explore around this corner. There, there, ha there has to be something around here. There just has to. There Nothing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Oh, this is Scriptless's true form. All right, let's see it. True Scriptless. The form which Scriptless takes when he enters other dimensions outside of Paper Robloxia. His ghostly appearance is really his inner demon self exposed. It's not the form he prefers, but now he doesn't really have a choice. So that's him. That's all him. That's 100% Scriptless. But just in a different form, which he does not prefer. But what choices he have? Awesome. Let's just uh, continue on with the chapter. N not dilly dally. The thing is, I think a lot of the cards are here because I'm missing a bunch. This may seem a bit intrusive, but allow me to tap into Dissacar's thoughts. You may want to hear some of it. Okay. Kogan, I know you're trying to read my mind. Stop it. <laughs> god, whoa. He's like a god. Okay. Well, that was a pretty bad idea to begin with. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Uh, can I just like, can I read his thoughts again? Well, nope. It's just like, no, sorry. You can't, you can't tap in. I know I'm a god. Come on. You can't really just tap in. I created the freaking plot book. I wrote this part of the chapter. Oh God. Am I going to have to make this jump? Oh, there we go. If I failed that jump, I would have gone back all the way down. Ah, uh, hit that. Oh, these difficult jumps. He's pulling out all the difficult jumps on me. Ah, oh, I never thought parkour like this could exist, except for the fact that I did the entire Adventure Forward Star Savior, which is way harder, by the way. Just, is there anything up here? Anything at all? All right, nothing. All right, Whiskero, what do you got to say? Sweet, we found the next portal. Let's go. Let's go. We going into the next chapter. Oh God. Well, not chapter, more like dimension. Jesus Christ, okay, um... To get to Antagon, we must travel through several dimensions in a linear order, using cut dimensions as gateways between major dimensions. The dimensions cannot be reached in any order you wish. It is all based on the structure of said dimensions. Well, so I guess between every dimension is just one of these things, and I had to get through them. Some- Oh my god, I am just facing that thing. Whatever, just gonna go along through- Oh, jeez. Oh god, look at these things. How? 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 Okay, there we go. What? This is tricky. Wait. Oh no, this is... <laughs> I, I, that was a fail. That was a complete fail. Um, I'm gonna have to like... Ah, uh, it's like, it's, it's, it's too good. Wait, left, right, left, right. Go left, go right, go in, and stay in the middle. <laughs> stay in the middle? And just be like, oh, I can't see. Okay. Eh. Oh, Jesus. How did I not die? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Just gonna dodge these creatures. There we go. All right, Kogan, what's up? 
Imagine each major dimension has a completely flat surface, like a piece of paper. This idea was first introduced in Paper Roblox 2, Beyond the Fold, where a corner of Paper Robloxia was actually folding on itself, demonstrating its paper-esque properties. Now, if we consider each dimension to be a flat piece of paper, and these pieces of paper are stacked up upon each other, it would make sense that you would have to travel through several pieces of dimensional paper to get to one that was much lower on the stack. This property is exactly why there is an order to the dimensions as we're traveling through. So basically, we're, we're on top of like office work, and we're just going through dimensions. Awesome. Just, just like imagine someone in their like accounting office. Oh gosh, I just completely feel that. Where's my last checkpoint? Oh no! Back here? Oh god, okay. Oh no, I'm gonna fail. Oh, why did I mess that up? Why did I mess that up? Why? Why did I actually? Okay. Okay. So, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Whew. This is intense. Oh, this chapter. And the fact that it's super freaking long too. Just... Ah, there we go. And... no, oh, oh, I thought I died. Oh, make it. Okay. We had a checkpoint anyway. Alright. Oh, Jesus. What? Just every single thing he's throwing at us. My god. And I just aced that proper. Nope. Did not ace that thing, though. Well, couldn't I have just jumped from there? Whatever. Hoochah! Hoochah! Awesome. Those leaps of faith, though. Hoochah! Safe direction. Alright. And now, there we go. You gotta get it as it's like passing you. Oh god. Okay, there we go. 